What's up, guys? It's Morgan from Lynchpin. Glad to be back with you. I've got all kinds of excuses why I've been away for so long without recording videos. Those are namely, I'm starting up a, a couple of businesses simultaneously. And then on top of that, I've had my first two kidney stones. Minus 31 out of 10 would recommend. So avoid those if you can. <laughs> but uh, long story short, want to get back into videos uh, and doing that more regularly. So I'll, I'll do my best. So if you have any requests, please feel free to comment down below. I'll do my best to get to those when I can. But this week, I want to start by mentioning a couple of notable earnings. You'll see here you've got CRM, Salesforce. you got Chewy that's got earnings. You've got the GameStop with earnings coming out this week. And then on top of that, you've got CrowdStrike as well as Lululemon. Now, am I endorsing trading these the day of or the day after? Not necessarily, but I think these will be movers for sure this week. Go ahead and check those out when you get a chance. But today I want to talk about how I select what stocks to trade daily. And I want to reemphasize, I trade Snap on a daily basis, and I'm going to show you a few reasons why. But I want to give you a scan in Finviz that you can use yourself to determine stocks that might be kind of similar in some ways and give you some good volatility that you could trade. So let's check that out. All right, so I get this question all the time. A lot of people don't want to trade Snap specifically. That's totally cool. You trade whatever you want to trade. I personally like to trade Snap because I understand the stock. Some of the things I look for in terms of a stock to trade on a regular basis with a small account. That's what I'm going with. Again, a lot of you have small accounts, not huge accounts. So the very first thing that's of priority is the price because the cheaper the stock, the cheaper the options in general. So I usually select a price under $20 and then I look for uh, the average volume. For example, I, I don't want something that's lightly traded. I want something that is, has significant trading going on at any given time. So I adjust the average volume. Now, if you're wanting to look for something oversold or overbought for swing trading options, so you would look for overbought if you're looking to, for example, short a stock by put options on it. If you're looking for oversold, you're going to swing it up. So you're going long with call options usually. Those are, those are kind of the two most important to me in terms of day trading something. Another thing that I will often look at is, is kind of the performance and look at something that might be up or down in a week. And, you know, volatility is actually probably the most important in my opinion, because you're wanting to see like over 3% volatility. So you can kind of see, let's scroll down and, and show you some of these charts. So I usually look for names that I know I also would wait until the end of the day to see what the volume is on options as well as what the stock did throughout the day because there's a lot of options out there that get zero volume. That's another reason why I trade Snap. Snap consistently has volume. It has a lot of things going on all the time. Under 20, under 30, that's, that's kind of my price range. I noticed that Snap's been well above that in the past. But again, I've traded Snap for years. You'll notice that Palantir is down here as well. You know, so it's it's up to you what you want to do. But the biggest thing is it's got to have volume, especially in the options. You don't want to be stuck holding an option. No one trades forever. It doesn't matter how much the stock moves. If there's no one to trade it to, if there's no movement in the price of the option, what what are you going to make off of it? You can't get rid of it. All right. So I'm going to harp on this like I always do. And that is trading the same stock repeatedly leads to better results, in my opinion, in my experience. This isn't just me spouting this off. I've back tested this essentially for the last couple of years. And I'm way more consistent trading the same stock than hopping from stock to stock to stock. So find something that fits your trading style. And again, for me, Snap works really, really well, has plenty of volatility. So those options trades are worthwhile. And I've started to understand how it functions on a daily basis. So I know when outsized moves occur. This also leads me to the discussion of trading versus investing. I don't think you should ju do just one. I think you need to learn how to trade on top of investing. Over the last like six months, 
my retirement is down over 8% in this market. I don't worry about that because I've done so well day trading that it really doesn't matter all that much. I'm still making money in this volatile market. And that's something that gives me a lot of peace of mind in diversifying strategies. And as always, I highly recommend going and searching finding stocks to trade options or something like that on Google. Again, my opinion is what I've given you through Finviz, just looking at the charts and kind of looking at recent data. But I mean, you have good checklists throughout where, where people identify how they've gone about choosing to trade particular stocks. And I highly recommend diversifying your knowledge and checking out numerous sources, not just taking my word for it. As always, you guys are awesome. I appreciate the community. I appreciate everyone that reaches out with questions or feedback. You know, I, when I started out doing this, I really did this for just some friends and some family. And I've really found and met a lot of awesome people who message me all the time. You know, we go back and forth about, hey, what do you think on the market this week? So I appreciate you guys hanging around. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you find any value whatsoever in the video. And also feel free to, uh, to let me know what other content you want to see. As I said, I'll try not to start any more businesses or get any more kidney stones and disappear for a couple of months. But anyways, I appreciate everything you guys do. Hope to see you around real soon. Bye.